Audubon Girls 4x400 relay down here at the state track meet. Let's talk with Taylor Sowers, who led things off today. Taylor, how did you feel like you ran? Good. I feel like I stressed it out quite a bit, and I ran my hardest. Did you feel good getting out of the blocks right from the start today? Yeah, I got out pretty fast and nice and smooth. Any nerves coming into this? Not really, no. Not really? Just nice and calm? Yeah. Okay. Where did you feel like you were at your best during the race? Uh, probably at the 200 mark. At the 200 mark. How tough was it from there on, or did you have pretty good energy left coming down the back stretch here? I feel like I had pretty good energy left coming back down the stretch. What are you going to take away from being down here at the state track meet these last couple of days? Uh, I'm going to take away pride. This is a big honor, and it's a big accomplishment. How fun is it to run with this group of girls? This group of girls is a lot of fun. We get along really, really well. So. Bright future for this group? Yeah, we even have next year. So. All right. Well, Taylor, appreciate you joining us. Great job today. Thank you. Let's move over now to Whitney Peterson. And Whitney, how did it feel for you today? It was good. It was lots of fun. How did how did the handoff with Taylor go? It went good. I think I was a little far for her because she started dying, but... <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of expected. Yeah. So, did you feel like you got out strong after that? Yeah. My, I felt like my strongest was like right where the 200 is over there. The girls were in front of me. I decided I needed to get them, so I stayed with them the way. Were you able to catch them and pass them, or did you just uh, run passed, kind of with them? I passed one, but then I stayed right behind the other. Okay. Happy with the time? I know you probably don't know your individual time, yeah, but I don't know happy time with the yet. overall time? Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. It was one of our better times we've had. What was your goal coming in? Just wanted to finish. <laughs> Just wanted to finish, huh? Okay, what are you going to take away from meeting out at State Track this year? Uh, then I want to go again next year. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. How many events you want to come down in? Uh, like this year. Next year. Next year. At least one. I just want to be able to make it. Just want to be able to make it. It was lots of fun. All right. Well, Whitney, appreciate you joining us. Great job. Thanks. Let's move over now to Katie Conkler. And Katie, how did the run go for you today? I thought it went great. I had a really good start with a nice, good stride, and I was able to maintain that throughout the race. Where did you feel your strongest, or were you pretty strong throughout the entire thing? I felt I was strongest towards the beginning, and then towards the end, it was trying to keep that pace and stay with the girl who's catching me and try to catch the one in front of me and just finishing strong. What kind of strategy do you use in a 400? 400, just mostly to keep an open stride because I tend to run with shorter steps and then just keep going after the whatever girl's in front of me. Now you said you were trying to hold off one girl while catching another towards yeah. the end here today. How'd you do on that? Yeah, I, I was able to stay with the I was able to stay ahead of the one that was catching me, but then catching the one that was already in front of me was a little bit more difficult, and then it was just getting the baton to Kira. How was the handoff? I thought to Kira it went pretty well. I got to her nice and strong, and there was like it wasn't too crowded, so I thought it went pretty well. Favorite memory from down here at State Track? Uh, just being with my team, probably. I mean, we've had so much fun these past few days, and I'm really excited about it, and I hope I get to come back again soon. Well, I hope you do as well. Congratulations. Great job Thank down you. here. Let's move over now to Kira Spore, who finished up the race today. And how did you feel like it went? It looked like you had a little left there at the end as you passed a girl. Yeah, it felt good. I felt strong all the way through, and I definitely knew I wanted to catch a girl ahead of me, so I knew I had to go, and just the adrenaline from the crowd helped me catch her and, and pass her at the end. Did you run hard straight out of the block, or did you kind of save um, yourself for that last two? Well, I kind of have this thing where I wait till the 200 or I just kick it, but for some reason I have it in my head that it's really not there till I get there, which when it is, but then the adrenaline helps me a lot more hear my coaches yell. Were you able to kick at the 200 or did you have to wait a little longer? Um, I kicked it a little bit, but I especially waited until I got to the 100 start line to really kick it because I didn't want that girl to get out farther ahead of me and then we die. How tough was it uh, to be able to get across that finish line? Were you able to hold her off by quite a bit? Um, I think I was able to hold her off by a little bit. It, I was scared she was going to come up right behind me because I started to slow down right before the finish line. It's probably bad on my part, but I got across before she did, so that was a good thing. What was your favorite race or event to watch down here? Ooh, I'd have to say I didn't get to watch 4x4, but that's probably my favorite event to watch or the shuttle hurdle for boys. All right. Well, Kira, thanks for joining us. Great job today. Thank you. All right. Thanks, girls. Thank you.